I'm Brittany Gallagher, bringing you the science of the future. What if your computer was something you folded and put in your pocket? Or you could charge your cell phone in minutes rather than hours? Or know the instant foreign microbes have entered your body? Scientists may have found a material that can do all of that, graphene. Graphene is a one atom thick, nearly transparent sheet of pure carbon. It conducts electricity better than silver, conducts heat better than diamond, is 200 times stronger than steel, more flexible than rubber, and extremely light. It's so thin, you can hardly see it with the naked eye. Scientists have hypothesized about this material for a while, but how they isolated it for the very first time was simple and involved two things, graphite, that stuff in your pencil, and scotch tape. Graphite is basically stacks of graphene, but held together by very weak bonds, which make it so flaky, whereas graphene is one layer of graphite. So scientists stuck the scotch tape to graphite, and eventually they were able to get one layer, and voila, graphene. So why isn't it everywhere? One of the problems is making pure sheets large enough. Peeling sheets of it with scotch tape isn't really scalable. But scientists are working to solve that one of which is Dr. Rick Kaner at UCLA, who figured out how to print sheets of graphene using a special laser that is generally used to print labels on CDs. If we can solve the scalability problem, imagine what could be built with a transparent, flexible, strong, electrically conductive material. Electric car batteries built from graphene will charge in minutes thanks to its high conductivity. It can be programmed to recognize cancer cells, to revolutionize medicine, even electric planes, or maybe stretch literally up into space. Throughout human history, the materials we have used have pushed civilization forward. From stone, to bronze, to iron, to the creation of plastic, to silicone. I'm very excited to see what the future holds for graphene. And the possibilities are so numerous. Imagine what we haven't even considered yet. Reporting to you from the future, I'm Brittany Gallagher.